William Tyrrell's birth parents have described their desperate attempts to prevent their son from being placed into foster care two years before he vanished from the mid-north coast. The boy's mother wiped away tears while giving evidence at an inquest into his disappearance. Crime reporter Mark Reddy has more. William Tyrrell's birth parents came to court for answers, but they left no closer to finding out what happened to their son, the boy in the Spider-Man suit. Very, very difficult, very um, upsetting. Um, going in there, um, I'm not satisfied with the outcome either. The three-year-old vanished while playing outside his foster grandmother's home at Kendall in September 2014. Two years earlier, he was placed in foster care because his birth parents were in a violent and drug-dependent relationship. <laughs> but for six weeks, they hid him from authorities. The birth father told the inquest, I was a culprit, I was angry and upset. His birth mother said, I couldn't bring myself to give them my son. I just didn't want to give them William. He was a good dad. He never, um, he went to work and he you know, provided the best he could for his children. Both parents were allowed supervised visits over the years until the day he went missing. I was standing in the yard having a cigarette. I heard the door banging like bang, bang, bang. It was a police. William's birth mother then told him he's missing and I said he's f***ing what? The inquest also heard the birth mother told police, I definitely don't know where William is. If I took him, I would be gone. I would have taken his sister as well. Both parents have denied having any involvement in their son's disappearance. My son, yeah, he'll never give up. Never. At the conclusion of the inquest, the court heard four days of evidence was merely the tip of the iceberg. Further hearings will be held in August when persons of interest will be called. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.